Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I wanted to upload a video about um, the problem with uh, the problem that we're having in our current state and our country with uh, with immigration and uh, and the issues with uh, with that like you know there's um, you know you ever thought about it our country is filled with a lot of different nationalities and different races and that I'm Cuban I'm Cuban and Cuban Mexican and uh, I've been just been thinking about it you know I kinda feel like um, why is it that there's so much conflict why is it that the United States has such a such a huge history of problems with uh, with uh, um, with our people people having conflict with with each other there's always been a divide a misunderstanding uh, um, people are not getting along you know if you think about the US and if you compare it to other countries like like specifically Asia a uh, lots of parts of Asia you know there seems to be a um, pretty good you know they're pretty they're pretty well balanced over there and er everything's not always perfect there they got their own issues they, they live in their own world you know it's own country but if you think about it um, racially there's Re they're really they're, they're, it's non-existent maybe there's some Caucasians and some blacks and some Germans and some Dutches that live there just very little but compared to the the Asians outnumber them for sure whoever whoever these other people that live in Asia are these other races and nationalities but uh, if you think about it, the reason why there's hardly any problems is because there uh, uh, here in America um, there's so many races so many uh, different you have Cubans and Asians and and Germans and blacks and whites and 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 it's all mixed and Puerto Ricans everybody's all mixed and that's why there's a problem there's a misunderstanding and that's why I think that the U.S. will never have will never live in total peace amongst their people because the people have pride of their own where they come from and what they feel they are and that's the problem is your own pride of your own nationality of your own race but you're living in it but the, the problem is that that's contradicting of that is that you're living in the in a place that other people think the same but if you were to go to Asia or German or to Sweden most likely there's Europeans there in Sweden and Germany Germans there's more of them so the reason why there's no problems there racially is because uh, there's um, they all have their own people their own Caucasians their own uh, and like in Asia there's more Asians so there's no conflict there's no um, conflict of, of, uh, of, of personalities of differences there's no conflict of differences and personalities and and, uh, and and egos don't collide so much so you're living amongst your own people you feel like you have a camaraderie a fellowship amongst your own people you feel like you understand each other it's your fellow neighbor your fellow neighbor, you know, your friend, your family. It's like a, it's like a nice knit, close connection. You know, it's like a subconscious kind of comfort to live amongst your own people. But here in America, there's so much, there's so much racism. Blacks and the blacks are doing their own thing, and they feel and think their own way. And the Asians live and feel and think their own way. And the Cubans and Puerto Ricans and Mexicans and Latinos and and the Germans and and everybody's just all clashing of their own they're clashing um, with their own idealisms of where they're how they're brought up where they were from the roots of where they're from their personalities and their own ego of their own religions and their own faiths and their own uh, and their own uh, and their own comforts of, of their of their country of who they are as, as their own race and nationality and so um and, and so it doesn't really make sense like for me I finally conclude I finally come to a conclusion I never felt this way because I grew up in America I was born in America I was cruised in Mexico but I finally came to the conclusion that I don't need to be here this isn't really not my country I was born here but this is not my country this is not my root this is not my foundation this is not where my roots are my roots are in Cuba or in Mexico this is not my home my home is where my ancestors were from Cuba Mexico Mexico 
that's where that's where I think I would find peace, right? Well, the thing is though is that you know um, if I don't like it, I could just leave. It, it, it's it's like it's contradicting. It's contradicting why there's uh, why the um, the Hispanics are so upset. They're unhappy with how they're treated here in America. They're unhappy, and then the African Americans they were unhappy. But what's contradicting to all of that? And to Asians or whatever is be, is that it, it's like this. Let's say that you want to live in a person's home. You want to live in a person's home. They give you the honest, the good gesture of their heart, and they let you come into their home, and you live with them. That's their home. They own that home. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, after living there for a month or two, you suddenly feel like they're not. You're not being treated right. You feel like this person's not treating me right. You know, I have dignity. I'm a good individual. Why doesn't this person like me? And then you, as an individual, as a guest in another person's home, as a guest, you have the audacity to stand up and protest against a person, against a person, in, in, in a guest protesting against another person's home, inside the home of that person. You don't even own the home. You have the audacity to stand up in a person's home and revolt against the the way the person treats you while you're in their home if you don't like it just get the hell out of there that's what I'm thinking if you don't like the way you're treated in another country if I were to go to Germany or to Asia and if they didn't like me I uh, they have every right because I went to their home I went to their home I spent my money and I went over there to bother them to go live in their society and their way and their own way of thinking and feeling and doing things and and I went over there I went into their home they let me in and if they don't like me then then they have all the right to show all the anger and the disgust toward me because I'm in their home I don't belong there I wasn't born there so what should I do I should just get up and get the hell out of there go back to where I'm from that's for the for for the Puerto Ricans and Cubans and Asians and the blacks that live in America. I'm thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. Maybe I should just go back to Cuba or to Mexico. You know, maybe it won't be as happy or maybe it won't be um, as great as here in America because I have memories here. But but this is not my home. You know, this is just a place that I was born in. But this is not the soul and spirit of and the roots of who I am. You know the people that live here, the, the the Caucasians that own America. I know that they don't. It, it's that they took it from the Indians, and we all know that the old chestnut. But but the thing is though is that if if uh, they own it, their control of the government, their control of it. If they don't like me, and if I because because as a, as a Mexican, I kind of feel like in the past I've had I felt uh, an indifference, a slight indifference, slight racial kind of clashing of my presence amongst other Caucasians or or whatever I, I felt that and I still kind of do I kind of feel like it's subsiding because Barack Obama's in office and it's not so bad anymore but there's never going to be total peace in America because there's too many um, clashes of the nationality different nationalities different races there's just too is this too much of a big old mess you know and the reason why other countries don't have that problem is because they're, they have their own people. There's more of their own original people there in their own country than there is other immigrants coming to their country. Asia and Germans would have had the same issue as America. If, 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 if other Asians went to Germany and if Germans went to Asia and there was more of them, then and it, just be, and it, 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 it would have been just a big old cluster. Plus to F, you know, for them, just like how America is. That's why there's never going to be any peace. And and that's why uh, I just want to put this video up, and that's the way I feel. Is that really, you know, if you if you if the person brings you into their home, you're living in their home, they give you the the, the graciousness of letting them letting you having your presence interfere subconsciously sub subconsciously interfering with their mental energy with their flow with their presence another presence entering uh, a home that has already 
set their own ways, you know, set their own rules. They let you into their own home. And if and then one day, as a guest, you feel like you're not you're being mistreated. You feel as it's it it's almost as if you're completely ignorant. And it's almost as if you feel like the home is is you own the home as much as the original owner does. Even though you don't pay the bills, uh, so much of the bills, even though you didn't, uh, you know, you're not working or whatever, you know, that, that that's a whole other complex thing. But you have the audacity. If you feel like you're not being treated right, you as a guest of another person's home have the audacity and the, and the, and, and, and the stupidity and ignorance to, to protest and revolt against the owner of that home. How ridiculous does it sound? That owner has all the right to treat you the way he does because you're in you're in their own life. You're in their own world. You, as a guest, you have to step back and say, you know what? I have to just go. You know? Yes, I have uh, created my own rut. I feel comfortable here. But this is not where I'm from. This is not where I'm from. If they're not, if they're not treating me right, they have all the right because this is their... They were here first, basically. I know the Indians were, but you know the Caucasians have all the right to be angry or whatever because it's just a big problem anyways. You know, it's just too congested, too much races in America. You know, too much problems. And that's why other races like Asia doesn't have those racial problems because there's nothing but Asians in Asia. And they all understand each other, they all feel a camaraderie amongst each other because there's nothing but them around. You seeing yourself around. That's what they see in Asia and in Germany. They're seeing them sim themselves around. Their brothers and their sisters, they feel a connection to them. They're seeing their own kind around. That's why there's less conflict in, in their society. And, and why there's so much conflict in America is because there's so much indifference. So much different faces, different colors, different, different looks. And that's what causes it. And that's my thought on immigration and what I feel about that. And, you know, and this is Rika Cespedes, and uh, that's my thoughts. Thank you very much.